Okay, so I've got everything pretty well sorted on this tractor. Everything's running great. Well, it's got 235 hours on it. And the only thing that I haven't done yet that I want to do is to change the fluid in the hydrostatic transmission. Uh, holds just under six quarts and has an oil filter. And the service manual says you never have to change it unless it's contaminated. And I don't know any of the history of this thing, so just to be on the safe side, I'm going to drain it and put some brand new fluid in it. So I thought I'd take you along for the ride. Now the service manual suggests that you remove the deck to do this job. I don't feel like removing this deck. It weighs 300 pounds. It's big and heavy. I did a video on it. It's not that hard, but I don't know that it's necessary. I mean, here's the oil filter right here that I need to remove. And... To get it out, I need to remove this bar. This is kind of like, a, they call it an anti-sway bar. It's almost like a panhard bar for the deck. So the deck stays centered underneath the tractor under hills. But that bar goes right across the, the oil filter. So with that bar in the way, you can't get the filter off. So i got to take this nut off. And I just think it's easier to take the wheel off than to take the deck off. So I'm going this route. And so the next step is to remove that nut and drop that bar out of the way. Let me show you what that bar looks like from the other side. Okay, here it is. Right here. See how it kind of goes right in front of the oil filter? And I'll try to unscrew that filter. It's going to bump right into that bar. So we got to loosen that bar, drop it down out of the way, and then we can just spin that oil filter right off. Alright, so here's a look at that nut. Now I've got a 13 millimeter socket and I'm just going to go by hand. I don't need to, I don't want to break anything. This is coming off very easy. Okay, there it is. It's got a neoprene washer in it to, so it doesn't have to be torqued tight and it won't loosen up. All right, I was not able to drop that bar down because it's kind of locked in here. I'm going to take this nut off, see if I can get anywhere with that. It's kind of locked in there, but I don't know if I can swing it down like that out of the way, perhaps to get that filter off. I'm going to see. Hopefully it will come off just by taking those nuts off and being able to swing that bar down like that. Okay, so I got my oil pan in place. There's the oil filter. Hopefully that's not on there too tight. We can uh, break that loose and see if we can get it off. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing off of here. tight or if it's just been on a long time but it don't want to come off too easy it's budging He's turning. God, doesn't have to be this tight, but what are going to do? Let's get it off.
There we go. There we go. Okay. You gotta hope I can get it past this bar, this rod. Sure do hope. Yay! Alright. That wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot easier, but wasn't too bad. So we'll let that whole thing drain out, and then we'll pull the drain plug as well. Should be nearly six quarts in that thing. I mean, the new fluid looks clear. That looks a little dark, so I'm kind of happy I'm doing this. Okay, I want to clear off this face here where the new oil filter is going to screw to it. There's a lot of dirt there, so I want to wipe it clean, but I don't want the dirt that I'm wiping to be falling into this rear end housing. So I think what I'm going to do is... Stick some paper towels in there. Like that. At least when I'm wiping off the top of it. All right, so now I can wipe off the top, this surface right here, get it nice and clean without fear of dirt falling right into my differential. All right, so I'm going to spray some WD-40 on a rag. WD-40 is a good cleaner. get that surface nice and clean because I don't know what part of that surface the seal on the oil filter is going to mate to and I don't want to get any dirt and grime pinched underneath the seal and have it leak I think that's good. Clear, I can wipe the bottom of it and don't worry about things falling down into the pan. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, we've also got a 16 mil drain plug at the bottom here. I'm going to drain every last bit of oil out of this thing. Okay, we should be pretty well empty at this point. Alright, just a quick uh, cleaning, actually. Oh! The rubber gasket there. Okay, that's nice and clean. And we put a rubber gasket back on our drain plug. Like an O-ring. And we're ready to put this back in. Just tighten it up so it doesn't, it's not going to back out, but I don't want to crank it too tight. That's perfect. I don't know what the spec is there, but experience tells me that should be good. Okay, and so here's what I'm using. Genuine Cub Cadet stuff. I'm not going to screw around. Drive System Fluid Plus Synthetic Blend. There's the part number. 
and I'm going to use the uh, Genuine Cub Cadet oil filter. There's the part number for that as well. And so now let's go spin that filter on and start adding some Fluid Plus to the system. Okay, so here we go. I've got uh, a little bit of film, a little bit of oil that I put on this gasket. And plenty of room here. And we're just going to spin this thing on. There we go. Alright, just made contact. I'm just going to tighten this by hand. That's good enough right there. I don't want to distort that rubber seal. It's tight enough, it's not going to come off. And then when it comes time, if I ever want to change this again, that should spin off easier than this last one did. Okay, now I'm going to put the nuts back onto this bar. Let me get started on both sides. Okay, I'm going to tighten this, and this bar is loose, so I'm just going to hold it from binding up while I tighten this. Kind of bottomed out there on something, so I think that's about as tight as that needs to go. I remember it had a lot of play when I took it off, so I think that's correct. And here's the nut on this side. It bottomed out on something as well, and yet there's still play in that bar, so that's that's the way it was, so that's good. Okay, now we're going to refill it with some fresh oil right through the dipstick hole. And almost six quarts. And I'm just going to put maybe a quarter of this in until we purge everything. And then we'll check the level and top it off. I don't want to overfill it now. It's hard to take oil out, but you can always add a little bit. Okay, now we're going to purge the system. I'm going to make sure this thing is solid. And to purge the system, we've got to disengage the transmission, start the engine and cycle it full reverse and full forward six times and then engage the transmission and full forward and full reverse six times and that should be it so let's do that Engage it and we'll do it again. Okay, we should be done now. Let's put the wheels back on and take it for a test drive. Sock them down by hand when I get it on the ground just to see how tight they really are. Here we 
we are back on the ground. Yes, perfect. You see that? Right at the line. Good. I'm calling it good. Alright, let's take my test rocket. Okay, test drive went good. Uh, went great. Variable speed, forwards, reverse, got good control, good power. I mean, I can crawl with the thing. I can go up to six miles an hour. Everything went great, which is what I expected because I didn't see any issues through the job. And uh, I think this thing is pretty well sorted now. I mean, I don't know of any other things that I need to do to it at this point, except use it and just keep an eye out for any issues that might come up but as of right now this thing is good to go so i hope you enjoyed that uh, please su subscribe to the channel and until next time thanks for watching